Hello friends, this video on synthetic fibers and plastics part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the next uh, synthetic fiber that we will talk about is nylon. So nylon is first man-made fully synthetic fiber because in case of rayon we saw that it was semi-synthetic because it was obtained from a naturally occurring polymer called cellulose from wood pulp of plants. But in case of nylon it is fully synthetic that means it is obtained from substances which, uh, which are like not uh, they are not natural polymers. So everything happens artificially that is why it is a fully synthetic fiber. So if you look at uh, the structure of nylon they are polymers ma made up of many monomer units. So here you can see the structure of nylon. So these are the monomer units in case of nylon these monomer units are either acids or amines or mixture of diamines and diacids. So that is how the uh, structure or the chemical composition of nylon is. So if you look at its structure, you can actually see that there are repetitive units. So as you can see here, so these are the repetitive units. So you see the same units are getting repeated over and again. And they are all connected or how are these units joined together? They are joined together by this bond. So this bond is joining together the units and what, I'm sorry, and what are these bonds called? These bonds are known as the amide bond. Now I will not get into the details of all these things. As you go to your higher classes, you will know about different types of bonding. You will learn about acids, you learn about amines. So I will not get into all those details. What I'm trying to say is you always have repeated units which are joined together by bonds to form a polymer. So this is how the structure of nylon would look like. So now let's see how nylon is prepared. So nylon is prepared from coal, water and air. So you see here in this case, you really do not have a specific polymer from which nylon can be directly prepared. So it is just from these raw materials, coal, water and air. So with the, with the help of these raw materials, yeah, some acids are prepared, some amines are prepared and then they react to form what we call as nylon. So nylon do not exist in nature and the first nylon was produced in the year of 1935. So this was the year when the first nylon was produced and the nylon which was produced is called nylon 6-6. So nylon is actually prepared in chemical plants from organic materials obtained from coal. What are organic materials? Carbon containing materials. Coal contains carbon, right? So, so in the process of preparation of nylon, what happens is two fairly large molecules are reacted together at moderate temperature and pressure. So what are those uh, large molecules? One is adipic acid and the other one is hexamethylene diamine. Now I told right, nylon is uh, composed of uh, diamines, diacids, acids or amines. So basically it is composed of acids and amines. Now here I am talking specifically about the preparation of nylon 6-6. So for preparation of this particular type of nylon we use adipic acid and we use hexamethylene diamine. Now you might ask then why do we need coal? So if we directly want to use these acids and amines but from where do we get these acids and amines? So we actually get these from coal. So this hexamethylene diamine is actually derived from coal. Now we are not getting into those complex chemical reactions here but you should just know that this is what we actually get from coal and this is how the chemical structure looks like. Now when these two are allowed to react with each other at moderate temperature and pressure what happens is they both of them react with each other and in the process they release water molecule and what we get is a polymer and what we get is a polymer that is nylon 6-6 and this in this process water is released. So this process where polymer formation takes place is known as polymerization. 
so this is how nylon is prepared so this is just example of one specific type of nylon which gets prepared but from this you can see that it is a pure synthetic fiber because you it, it is no way related to the naturally existing uh, fibers so the polymer here is actually prepared by a, a man process or an artificial process so let us look at the advantages of nylon the most important advantage is that it is very strong when i say strong it is extremely strong so you can actually compare a nylon rope with that of an iron or a steel uh, rod so it is that strong its strength is so much and it, is, it has got some elasticity in it so because of this uh, it is used to make ropes and these ropes are strong enough that uh, people can use them for rock climbing so you can imagine how strong the ropes are so they just with the help of those ropes they climb huge mountains so the ropes are able to uh, take the weight of persons not only one person sometimes multiple people also use the same rope for climbing so the ro rope they really have good strength it is also at the same time it is not very heavy it is strong but it is not heavy now since it is light in weight so it is more convenient to carry it from one place to another it is easy to wash so nylon is also used for making uh, socks and uh, some clothes also so, so that way also it is easy to maintain clothes ropes tents belts bags parachutes that is the most wonderful example that i mean this tells you the strength of nylon it is also used to make parachutes so you see these ropes and parachutes they are made up of nylon so the skipping which you use there also you often see nylon being used the nylon rod is also used for drying clothes so there are a couple of advantages associated with nylon and the most uh, beautiful character or property of nylon is that it is very strong elastic at the same time light in weight thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.